In this story, we'll explore the science of happiness connected to success. Psychologist Sean Aker shows us a few ways how we can implement strategies to boost our daily happiness, thus achieving the success we're looking for. This is James. James is 31 years old and a mechanical engineer. He's been living with his girlfriend for two years now and he works at a company which rewards him with a good salary. It's enough money to pay the bills. James can drive a nice car and lives in an apartment with a lot of space. But James isn't always happy. He is often stressed because of work, gets quickly annoyed because of little or bigger problems. Thoughts are often racing and when they do, he almost can't stop them. A few years ago, when James was studying to become an engineer, he often felt the same way. This was supposed to change when he would start to work and earn good money. He thinks that this can't be it. He should be happy all the time. He shouldn't be stressed so much. He should be 100% passionate about his work and be excited to go to work every day. But he isn't really. So why is this? Life teaches us that if we work hard, then we will become successful. And when we do become successful, then we will be happy. Hopefully our teachers give us good test grades, we need to earn good money at our jobs, we should receive praise and compliments from other people to become happy. Or hopefully we get to go on a date with that beautiful girl or that handsome boy we find attractive, right? This is what teachers, parents and society mostly teach us. But this formula is broken because it's exactly the opposite how psychologist Sean Aker explains in his book The Happiness Advantage. Now, what is the happiness advantage? It means to understand that in order to become successful in any part of life, you have to be happy first. Because if you start something in a positive, engaged and happy state, whether studying for a test, working at a new job, going on a date with a potential partner, your chances of being successful will be more likely. Why? Because your brain tackles a challenge more open-minded, relaxed and better focused than when your thoughts were to be clouded in a negative state of mind. And just to be clear, success doesn't mean that you always have to get the top results. You might even fail or reach just half of your goals and you'll still be content because you set your expectations low or even didn't have any of them. You just give your best in a happy state and if you make mistakes, you'll know what to do next time differently. You will forgive yourself much more quickly with failure and see mistakes not as a real failure but as a way to learn and grow in the long run. Scientific research has shown in the last few years that people in a happy and positive state get better results. For example, students who are being praised more by their teachers and study in a positive atmosphere achieve higher results when taking exams. Other studies showed that employees who are given more freedom to make decisions within their field of expertise show higher motivation thus resulting in better results when finishing projects. One study even showed that doctors who are put in a positive mood make faster and more accurate diagnoses with sick patients compared to other doctors who aren't put in a positive mood. These are just a few examples of how people being happy in the first place are more likely to be successful. And of course, the reverse can cause unhappiness. The moment you expect a specific high achieving result to make you happy, you become dependent on the outcome. And if the outcome is failure, your high expectations won't be met and thus you will be disappointed. So how exactly are we supposed to achieve happiness first when we pressure ourselves with certain successes? 
Psychologist Sean Aker gives a few tips in his book, which can help you build your foundation of happiness, less dependent of everyday events. So let's get to three examples. This is the time to grab a pen and paper. Number one, commit acts of kindness. Altruism, like helping your family, friends and other people, shows increase of the hormone serotonin, which supports your feeling of being part of a community. Number two, spend money, but not on stuff. People who spend the money for activities and experiences instead of materialistic things have shown longer lasting happiness than people who focus on the acquisition of more clothes, bigger apartments or faster cars. In other words, would you rather drive a big Mercedes to work or ride your little bicycle to the beach? Number three, exercise. Going for a run, taking part in team sports or getting your body to activate your muscles and increase your heart rate in any way will boost the production of the hormone endorphin, thus working as an anti-stress hormone and making you more happy. That's the satisfying feeling you know when you're tired after exercising. Psychologist Sean Aker shows many more examples in his book, to which you find the link in the description of the video. So what's it going to be? How much do you depend on what happens around you and what results you get? Could you focus on being happy with less in the first place? Do you know yourself well enough to create daily routines that make you happy from the start? And can you be just as happy even if you don't make a lot of money? Can you be happy being single too? Or are you always on the run to find the next best partner to get into a relationship just because you can't stand the quiet when you're alone. Whenever you challenge yourself with something new in life, whether it be studying for a test, applying for a new job, or taking care of your relationships, remember to do the things you need to put yourself in a happy and positive state before you start your challenge. Your life will be filled with much more moments of joy content and serenity and you'll always find happiness in the long run no matter the short-term results hi my name is Davide thanks for watching Edge of Amin. subscribe to my pages for more content like this and I'd love to read your opinion in the comments down below please share this video with one person who is really important to you learn more by checking the video description and support my work with just a dollar per month via Patreon. A part of this income will be donated to a charitable organization. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.